Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody, and welcome back to the program. Alex Wilson from Catch Des Moines. How are you today? I'm doing well, Lou. How are you? Good. We are doing great because so many people are excited about events that are happening around central Iowa in the next few days. And there's a big one that's going on a little bit later on tonight. Yes, yeah, so people may have already figured it out if they've been downtown anywhere, yes. but we have Journey in town tonight. They are bringing their Freedom Tour 2023 here to Wells Fargo Arena, and Toto will be joining them. Hold the them. line. Toto, right? Correct. That's their song, Hold the Line. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. <laughs> You've been holding on to that one. You really wanted that one. <laughs> they will be, Dota will be joining them as a special guest tonight. Tickets start as low as $39.50. That concert gets started at 7.30. I know I love to be there. It's great. Toto and Journey in concert tonight in Des Moines. Uh, when Toto, the opening act, uh, yeah. plays Africa, I want, I'd love to be there to hear the ambiance in the arena when everybody's singing it. Because you because know Because you know everyone everybody knows will. every single yeah. word to yeah. that. Song. Exactly, and and every uh, artist that's in town that plays that song, they'll be singing it too. So that's going to be that's a great yes. combination, Toto and Journey. Yeah, yeah that'll so be fun. So you can still get tickets tonight. Wheel in the sky, still spinning around and around. So don't stop believing. You want to see a good concert? That's a little bit later on tonight. Correct. Okay. All right. So what else is going on around town? Well, this one is another fun one that I for sure need to get my tickets to, and I think other people do too, because we have the Lion King that is coming to the Des Moines Civic Center this. Thursday, so it's really fun one. Um, it's a musical that features giraffes strutting, birds swooping, gazelles leaping, all alongside unforgettable music. We've all seen the movie, so now it's this in this production. Tickets start at $71. The musical starts at 7.30 p.m. each night, so you can visit DMPA um, to see all of the show times, get your tickets there. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, they say that even if you've seen it before, you go back, and every time you go back, you see something different. Something and that you didn't see. It's a new performance before, and they, I guess they're going all out over at the Civic Center for this, too. So this was a big production. We did a big uh, promotion with them earlier uh, this year, and hopefully you had a chance to participate in that. That was a whole, whole lot of fun, but a lot of people looking forward to this. Yeah, the photos alone look oh, awesome, so incredible. I can't imagine yeah. what the production's going to be and like. And talked about the music tonight, the music during the Lion King, Elton John type music during the Lion King. That's going to be awesome. Too. Yes, absolutely. All right. All right, so what else is going on? That's just the yeah. tip of the iceberg. Yes, so I know it's crazy to think, but baseball is getting ready to start. So here in Iowa, we have the Iowa Cubs with their home opener this Friday at Principal Park. First pitch is going to be at 7.08 p.m. It is Friday, so there will be fireworks happening. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep, it's back. So they will be playing the Columbus Clippers doing, during that home stretch through Sunday. You can purchase tickets at their box office or online. Tickets start this year at $10. So uh -huh. still pretty cheap to go out there and check it out. Yeah, it looks like uh, hopefully the weather is going to cooperate on Friday as well. So yes. that will be really nice. Absolutely. Yeah, the big Cubs start the day before, but yep, Iowa Cubs start on Friday. Iowa on Friday. Perfect. Correct. All right. So uh, what else is going on? Well, how about a performance of Ugly Duck? Duckling, sorry, I can say that one. Ugly Duckling, that's going to be at the Des Moines Community Playhouse. This one is on Saturday, so just one chance to check this one out. So it's about a nest by the edge of a pond sits some baby ducklings. Whose brother doesn't look like them, doesn't quack like a duckling, a little different. Yeah. A little different there. So after being teased, <laughs> called ugly by his siblings, he goes on an adventure in search of a place to fit in. So you can follow along on that journey with the performance at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Tickets start at $12. There is a second performance at 2 p.m. Oh. That one already sold out, though. Oh, it did? Yes. So right. if you're wanting to go, I would say go on. Get them now because those tickets are going pretty quick. All right, so if you maybe have looking for a day outing, that'd be a perfect yep. day outing for you. Absolutely. All right, and finally, I think we're going to talk about we've been long anticipated return of something very cool. Yes, you can head out to the Blank Park Zoo this Saturday and Sunday. However, it is taking um, over for the whole month of April and into May from right. Wednesdays through Sunday. But it is the Wild Lights Festival at Blank Park Zoo. So this one, I love to go out to it every year. It is um, a festival where you can see more than 50 larger than life illuminated animal shaped Asian lanterns and this year's event features underwater wildlife oh, giant yeah. insects a mythical creature 
vultures and, of course, some endangered animals. Tickets start at $21 for members and $25 for non-members. It goes on 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. each of those nights that it is happening. And sunset is the best time to go. And it is kind of cool if you get there right before sunset, do a walk through, see what they look like. But then you go back through after the sun is kind of starting to set and you really see the glowing of these lanterns. It is it's so cool and so beautiful, and I don't know who comes up with this or, <laughs> you know, decides what they look like, but it's so cool every year. I just love the themes, and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing there's like a 75-foot sunflower tunnel Ooh. that you, you're going to be able to walk through. Was Butterflies was last year, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this year so, yeah. it's, it's sunflowers. sunflowers. And okay. then uh, the octopus that is there is like 33 feet across. Ooh. And Ann Schmidla, the CEO of the zoo, yeah. will be here tomorrow to talk more about that as well. Perfect. If people want to get more information about what's going on in town, where should they? Go. Catch Thank you so much. See you tomorrow, folks.